everyone and welcome to tonight's section on the names of God. Tonight we're going to be looking at the name Jehovah Sabaoth. Jehovah Sabaoth. I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am. I loved preparing this series of talks and looking into the names of God and what each name means. It just gives you such an insight into a different side of God's character whenever you look into what the names of God mean. So Jehovah Sabaoth. It's, Sabaoth was a military term used to describe a leader who led um, armies into war or battle back in biblical times. It was quite a common phrase, Sabaoth. It was a military word. And so whenever you add Jehovah to the start of it, it means the Lord of heaven's armies or the Lord of hosts. That's what the name means, Jehovah Sabaoth. It was used over 250 times throughout the Old Testament. And I think that's why so many religious leaders were waiting on the coming Messiah, even when Jesus was walking among them. If you think about it, they had grew up hearing Jehovah Sabaoth. They had heard how God was going to come and lead heaven's armies. They had heard how God was the God of hosts how God was the God of armies. They had heard this military phrase used over and over and over again. And so they were waiting on the coming Messiah coming to lead them out of from under the Roman rule that they were under. They were waiting on a military leader rising up and saying, I'm going to do this mighty battle among you. And they were going to conquer the Roman Empire and lead them out. So many people missed who Jesus was because they didn't fully understand the meaning of Jehovah Sabaoth. They understood it in their logical everyday terms. They didn't understand fully what it meant. And I want you to get a grip of what Jehovah Sabaoth actually means. It doesn't just mean wars and battles and fighting and all of those things. The Bible gives us so much more of an insight into what Sabaoth actually means as part of God's character. One of the times it's used is in the final battle in Revelation, in Revelation chapter 19 verse 14 and it talks about the armies of heaven coming out behind the rider of the white horse leading them into the final battle which is the end of the devil and all his army. The rider on the white horse is Jehovah Sabaoth leading heaven's armies out behind him. They lead us into a spiritual battle. The Bible, of course, tells us that we do not fight against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual armies of this world. And that is what Jehovah Sabaoth means in the military sense. He leads us out against the powers of darkness. He leads us out into a spiritual warfare battle. That's why Jesus didn't come as a military leader against humans because it's not against humans that we fight, it's against the powers of darkness. And how amazing is it that we do not have to fight that battle on our own? I don't know what you fight against in your own spiritual life. Everybody has their own private spiritual battle that they fight again and again and again. Maybe it's your devotional time. Maybe it's what you look at on the computer. Maybe it's your relationships with other people. Maybe it's a spiritual battle in the mind that you just can't seem to conquer. We are all fighting spiritual battles every day. We do not fight against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual powers of darkness. But how amazing is it that we have Jehovah Sabaoth leading us forward. We do not go into this battle on our own. He doesn't leave us to fight these battles on our own. Jehovah Sabaoth is leading us out into these battles. Jehovah Sabaoth is with us right in the middle of the battle. Jehovah Sabaoth is fully equipped to help us he fully equips us in turn to fight this battle alongside him and together we can win against the powers of darkness. Jehovah Sabaoth is such an awesome person to have on your side and if you are fighting against this spiritual battle in your world and you just can't seem to win, 
maybe you just need to go to Jehovah Sabaoth today and ask him for special help in that area. Tell him that that's the area that you're struggling in and ask him to come alongside you. Ask the Jehovah Sabaoth side of God's character to come and to help you. The Lord of hosts, the Lord of heaven's armies can come alongside you and help you in that battle against the powers of darkness. We read of one very special person who uses this phrase for the very first time in the Bible and it's found in 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 11. It's not used by a soldier for the first time, it's not used by a religious leader for the first time, it's not even used by a man for the first time in the Bible. It's used by a woman, a woman who is going through her own private battle. A woman who doesn't know where else to go to for help. A woman who has been struggling in this private battle for years and years and years and finally decides that Jehovah Sabaoth is the person that she needs on her side as she fights this battle. Jehovah Sabaoth is the person that she needs to go to for help. She decides she's not going to try and fight this anymore on her own, anymore in her own strength. She's going to go to Jehovah Sabaoth. And what was that battle that she fought? Her name was Hannah and she was struggling to have a baby. I love how that is the first time that Jehovah Sabaoth is used in the Bible. It's not to ha ask God for help to conquer a city. It's not to ask God for help in a massive battle that Hannah is facing. It is such a private, intimate, personal battle that she is having that nobody can help her with but Jehovah Sabaoth. And we read in 1 Samuel 1 verse 11 how Hannah prays to the Lord of hosts for help. And what happens? The next chapter, God gives her a son. God gives her a baby. God fights that battle for Hannah and wins it for her. And her prayer is granted in that battle that she has faced for years and years and years. We read so many times before the Lord of hosts comes to us in our own personal battles. Exodus 14, 14 says the Lord of hosts will fight for you. You need to only stand still. Psalm 46, the Lord of hosts is with us. Jehovah Sabaoth is with us. Yes, he's with the mighty army that rides out to defeat the devil. Yes, he's with us in the spiritual battles that we face every day. But he's also with us personally, in a personal, intimate, private level, helping us in our individual battles, as well as the massive big battles that we face as a church as a whole with the capital C in our everyday world. The church is fighting battles against abortion and against euthanasia and against all these massive things. Jehovah Sabaoth can help us win those battles, but Jehovah Sabaoth is also with us on a personal, intimate, private level, fighting, helping us to fight and win our personal battles. Do you need to ask Jehovah Sabaoth into your personal private battles today? Have you been trying to fight the massive spiritual battle on your own strength? Have you been trying to fight the individual personal battle on your own strength? And you just don't seem to be gaining ground in either section. You just seem to be going backwards and backwards and backwards and can't seem to get any movement forwards. Ask Jehovah Sabaoth to come into your battle today. Ask the Lord of heaven's armies to come alongside you today and bring his heavenly hosts with him and fight this battle with you today. The amazing thing about God is he does not leave you to fight this battle on your own. The Lord, heavenly host Lord, Jehovah Sabaoth Lord will fight for you. You need only ask him to.